What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So guys, today we are doing a guide on the new agency property. So this property, it was released today with the contract DLC. First of all, if you want to get it, it's on Dynasty 8 Executive. The cheapest one is 2 million. The most expensive one is 2.8 million. The location that I recommend, to be honest, is the cheapest one because I've seen that the location doesn't matter that much. So it's very smart to get the cheapest one. Also, the cheapest one looks kind of good and it also has a nice view. The first three upgrades are purely cosmetical, so I don't recommend that you actually get them. Then you have the armory, you have the accommodation, and you also have the vehicle workshop. These three I did Just get, but to be honest, they're all not very necessary. So if you don't have a lot of money hey, right now, just get the one crack? from 2 million, the cheapest so one without any this? renovations. It won't cause any problems and then you can still play everything from the new DLC. So the agency has three levels. On the first level where you enter, you have this Anything guy. It's marked with a I on the map. You can request to exit the agency with a personal vehicle. So you will spawn outside in your vehicle. You can also do the same with a helicopter or you can request a SUV service where a SUV will actually take you to a location on the map. On the second level, you have the office hey, of Franklin. Up? He's always there, which is pretty cool. He always says hi as well. And then next to that, you also have your own office. Now in your office, just like with any property, obviously you're going to have a PC. So on this PC, you will have two types of contracts. You have the security contracts and then you have the VIP contracts. The first time that you buy the business, you will have to do one security contract before you can basically start the VIP contract. Security contracts, they have a level, for example, over here it's professional and based on this level, you will get a higher payout. So over here, it's 41K for a professional one. And then if you have specialist, it's 52. You also have specialist plus, which sometimes gives you 70K. So the security contract, you can see them as long flying jobs. So it's either stealing a vehicle, um, rescuing someone, or maybe destroying the product from the competition, something like this. And it's always not very long, like 10, 15 minutes, but sometimes they can be hard, especially if it's specialist plus. So besides the security contracts, you also have the VIP contract. Right now, there's only one VIP contract that you can play. It's the Dr. Dre VIP contract. And this one basically has a payment of 1 million. So after you complete the first security contract, Franklin will call you. You will get a yellow F on the map. And then you basically have to go to the golf club. Here, you will have to do a mission. In this mission, you will see Dr. Dre. He's golfing. He has some beef with some guys on the golf court. And then you have to prove yourself to Dr. Dre by basically chasing these guys down in a golf cart, smashing them, and then after that, following them and beating them up. So the reason why you have to do this mission is so you can actually gain the trust of Dr. Dre, so he will actually give you the opportunity to get his phone back, because getting his phone back is basically the VIP contract. After this, you have to wait a little bit, and then Franklin calls you again. And then you have to do a mission where you basically break into the FIB building. A very cool mission. And then you basically have to go on a PC so you can retrieve some data about the phone of Dr. Dre. Now this mission and the golf court mission, you only have to do them once. So only the first time when you do this contract, you have to do them. Afterwards, you can replay them, but you don't have to do them. After these two missions, then you start with the real contract kind of. So you have three sets of three missions. There are three people who basically have a leak of a song of Dr. Dre. You have to chase them down, you have to do two setups, and then in the final, you basically retrieve the songs from them. So three sets of three missions in total, nine missions, and they're all called the leak missions, basically. After these leak missions, then you will know who actually took the phone, and then you will have two final missions. After the final, final mission, you will get one mil. So the first time you actually do the Dr. Dre contract, you will have to do 13 missions for 1 million. The second time you do it, and also the third one, and after that, it's 11 missions for 1 million. The first time you do the final of the leak missions, so the sets of three missions, you also get a 100k bonus, but that's only the first time. So that's actually quite a lot of work. Now, right now, I summarized it very quickly. If you guys want, I can also make a more detailed video about the contract as well. So let me know in the comments. Now, the last thing that you can also do with the agency is basically the payphone hits. So after you do like two or three security contracts, Franklin will tell you 
that if you're in free mode driving around, that you will hear a payphone basically ringing. If you go to this, Franklin will basically tell you about a person that you have to assassinate, and if you do this in the right way, then you actually get a bonus. So for example, over here top left, you can see destroy the target's vehicle using a truck cab. So if you do it in the right way, so if you assassinate the target in the right way, you will get a bonus. And this actually will give you a payout of 85,000. After the first time that you do this, you can also just simply call Franklin to request a payphone hit. So the first time, it will be a coincidence when you're driving in free mode, you will see a payphone symbol on the map. Then you have to go there. After that, you can just call Franklin and then a payphone will uh, basically show up on the map. This is actually quite good. So 85k, the missions don't take that long. So that's actually, I think, the best part of the agency. A more detailed video, by the way, on the payphone hits. It will come definitely because it's actually a very good method, I think. And also, it deserves some more detail. But like I said in the beginning, this is a general guide. If I go too deep on everything, then it's going to take a very long time. On the third floor and the last floor, first of all, you have the armory. If you have the upgrade in the armory, you can buy gear. You can also modify your weapon loadout. So if you didn't know yet, you have your weapon wheel. You can hide some guns so you can only basically show the guns that you use. And they also have this guy over here. And basically this guy, he can sell you guns. So he, you can buy guns over here with a 13% discount. Also, for example, the stun gun and the compact EMP launcher, you can buy them here. And you can also use him basically as a uh, weapon workshop. So you can also modify your weapons over here. Then also over here on the last floor, you have Imani and her hacking team. And then these double doors, if you have the accommodation, then this is where your living quarter will be. So you can change your clothes, you can spawn here, you can sleep here. If Chop is here, you can hang out with him. Like I said in the beginning though, the accommodation, so the living quarter, it's not really necessary. The only upgrade that I think is necessary is the armory. And this is in the case that you actually want the EMP launcher and the stun gun. Because the armory is the only place where you can get those guns. Now the agency also has a garage, a 20 car garage that has 3 stories. So that's actually quite a lot. In this garage, if you want, you can also have a workshop. So if you get in one of your vehicles, if you press right on D-pad, then right now you can also modify your vehicle here. So a lot of places where we can now modify our vehicles. Then the last thing is basically, when you are outside, you will have 2 new contacts. You have Franklin and you also have Imani. So if you call Franklin, a couple of things that you can request. Hey, First Carmen. of all, a security contract, then also a payphone hit. This is after you've done the first payphone hit. A company SUV that you can request. SUV service is basically a SUV that takes you to the agency. And then also supply stash. This is basically you're requesting a ammo drop, something like this. Then when you call Imani, you will have two options. First of all, out of sight. Shoot. It is 12K to activate this. And basically you will have a 500 meter area where you and your members of your organization will be hidden from the radar of other players and also source motorcycle which is basically sourcing a motorcycle with bulletproof tires and this is 2k so guys that was basically it i know it was very short it was very general but like i said if i go too deep into detail it will be very long a more detailed guide about some of the parts of the agency will be coming soon so if you want to see them, make sure to subscribe, like this video, check out my Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.